I'm going to teach you how you can unseat and reseat the bead to your tire using nothing but a high lift jack and your onboard air compressor. Um, while I get started, I'm going to tell you a little story. First of all, I'm going to show you how to do this using nothing but the things you might carry in your, in your Jeep. These are all tools that I keep with me when I'm out on the trail. High lift jack, a Jeep, obviously. This is my spare tire. Um, obviously, you, you wouldn't want to do this if your Jeep is on three tires. So if, if, if you're trying to fix a tire that you had on the Jeep, don't take it off and then do this. Either put your spare on or have a friend nearby that uh, you can use their Jeep for the weight. We're going to use the weight of the Jeep to unseat the tire. So the reason you would want to do this on the trail, well, I'll share, I'll share a quick story with you. Uh, I've been wheeling for years. Years and years and years. Okay, so I keep this little bag of tire stuff with me. Just because of this year, I've had enough uh, tire incidents. I've been wheeling for years and never had real any real problems with tires. This year, I have had to dismount and remount my tire on the trail, or at least at the staging area, twice. And once here in the shop because of bead problems, and one of them a valve stem problem. So one day I was out on the trail this year with, uh, well, with a bunch of friends, and we were hitting some rocks, and I actually managed to demolish a, a valve stem. It held air, so we got it back to the staging area before we did anything about it. Uh, we didn't notice it till later in the day anyway. But luckily a friend of mine had a new valve stem with him and we were able to replace the valve stem on the trail. Uh, another time I had gotten a bunch of crud somehow had gotten into the, the bead of my tire. Now, I'm, I'm removing the valve core here to take all the air out of the tire. Uh, you'll want to do this before you try to unseat it otherwise the pressure in the tire will be keeping it seated to the bead. That's kind of what it's supposed to do. So you want to be careful when doing this, because when you have these at full street pressure or even a trail pressure, you've got 15 to 30 pounds of air trying to force this thing out of here. This might be a little noisy, so here we go. So anyway, as I was saying... There we go. As I was saying, we had to repair a valve stem on the or at the staging area. That was fun. Uh, another time I'd gotten crud in there and the tire was just slowly losing air. Um, and over the course of a couple days I figured out that it was because of the the tire wasn't seated properly anymore. I had to do this here in the shop to clean out that bead. And the other time I had actually gotten a stick lodged right in the in the bead where the where the tire and the uh, and the 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 rim meet. Uh, and I had to do that at the staging area. I had to unseat it, get the stick out of there and put it back together. So the goal here is to get the high lift jack to the edge of the, the wheel, right where the tire and the wheel meet, right where the bead seats. Now you don't want to be on the rim, obviously, because A, you could damage your rim, and B, it won't do you any good, because that's a steel rim. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, always be careful when using your high lift. Never take your hand off of this handle unless it's locked in the upward position. Never get your head in between these two things because if it slips out of your hand all the way to the Jeep is trying to force this handle back up and that'll whack you in the head and that's not a good thing. I like to keep my hand, my foot on the other side of this tire because the tire has a tendency of tipping. The goal here is not to pick up the Jeep. If you see your front tire is starting to lift off the ground it's time to reposition the tire. It's about as high as I want to go. You can see the Jeep's still stable. The tire isn't quite unmounted yet. It's getting there, but not quite. So, we're going to lower this back down. And we're going to move the tire around a little bit. this a bit so we can get a different purchase on the bead here. Usually all it takes is two, but we'll see. There it goes. You hear it pop? That was the bead breaking off. Yep, there you go. See, the whole tire is loose now. Let's take the jack back down.
and get it out of the way. We're not going to need it anymore. Okay. Now, at this point, you can get your fingers in behind here. You could push this down and get to the back of your valve stem, cut it off and put a new one in if you need to. Get in here and clean the bead out. You can see there's a little bit of dust, a little bit of dust and dirt in there. There will be, but uh, this is where you'd want to check, see if there's just crud stuck in there. Get in there with a paper towel or a wet cloth or a wet paper towel or whatever you've got handy. Clean it out really good. Now, reseeding the bead. This is the moment of anxiety. If you don't have a good air compressor with you, you're going to have to find one. Or there's some tricks and tips about how you can do this. Some people squirt starting ether in there and hit it with a match. Um, I've seen that destroy tires, so I try not to do that if I don't have to. I'm using the onboard air compressor in my Jeep. This is a two and a half gallon tank. It's a V-Air system. I've charged it up before I started recording the video so that you guys wouldn't have to deal with me running the Jeep to <laughs> charge up the air. I've seeded, de seeded beads with this before, and it has worked in the past. With any luck, it'll do that today. But if it doesn't, I have my good old shop air compressor here standing by ready to go. So you notice I didn't put the valve core back in, and that's because I want to get as much air as possible through that valve stem as quickly as possible. Now what you want to do first is make sure the bead is at least sort of in contact with the rim before you put this on here, because every ounce of air counts in this case. Uh, you want to especially make sure that right here by the valve stem is, is sealed at least well enough that air is not going to just leak out like a sieve, okay? So here we go. We're going to put this on, and if it catches, we're going to wait until the bead pops back into place. And once it's in place, we're going to pull this back off and get that valve stem, or valve core back in. Hey, it caught! Here we go. Now at this point... Yep, a little more, a little more. Come on, you can do it! There we go. Now again... You want to make sure you hang on to this valve stem for the same reason I gave when we took it out. Or this valve core, I should say. The core, or the air pressure is going to try to send it flying across the parking lot. Let's get that in there. And just tighten it up until it stops. When you get to the bottom of the threads, of course, you will hear it stop squeaking. Or, yeah, you'll hear the, the air stop coming out and you'll hear no more hissing of air. Or no more, uh, well yeah, it'll stop the threads. And there you go, it's, it's remounted. Now I think I've exhausted my air, but uh, now we can fill up the tire as you would. I don't have enough air in there to do this with the, with the Jeep, so I'm gonna use my good one. And there you have it. You can see that it's holding air. I'm just gonna get it up to a good 15, 20 PSI. Yeah, so anyway, you don't want to watch me air my tires up. There you go. There you have it. Spare tire, unmounted, remounted within, what, 10 minutes? Uh, you can do this on the trail as long as you have a decent air source. If you don't have a decent air source, get back to the trailhead. Hopefully someone does, or the, the park you're at, or whoever, will, will have an air source you can use. So there you have it. How to fix your tire on the trail. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks.